Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Yakima Long Haul Bike Rack here on our 2016 Winnebago Spirit Motorhome. It's going to be a hanging style bike rack holding the bike by the frame right here. We've got three points of contact, two straps on top holding it into these cradles, and then a third one around the seat post limiting our side to side movement which will reduce bike to bike contact. This is motorhome approved, which means it has been tested and approved for this extra shock and vibration back here compared to a typical passenger vehicle. We do want to keep some things in mind though, because it is frame contact and hanging by the frame here, we want to avoid our carbon frame bikes. If you've got an alternative frame bike or a kid's bike, you will probably need a bike adapter bar to get it to sit properly on the bike rack here. And then of course, per bike, we've got a 37 and a half pound weight capacity. So just make sure you're staying within that limit. Otherwise though, it is gonna get a pretty strong hold on the bike here, and it's gonna work on your motorhome most importantly. Not all bike racks are. You don't have any option to tilt this rack away though. It is fixed, so we will have to probably sacrifice the clearance with our back cargo door. So just keep that in mind as we're carrying through. Getting the bike removed though is pretty simple. We've got these zip strips here, and all we have to do is just pinch these two tabs on the side and pull the strap out. We'll do that for all three here. The one on the seat post here can be a little tricky to remove depending on the size of your wheels. But then once the bike is undone, we can just slide it off like that. And I'll just set it to the side for now. And we can take a closer look at the bike rack itself. I do like to replace those zip strips because they do have a tendency to get lost over time. I think one of them on this bike rack is missing from just being down in the shop a while. So you want to keep an eye on them, but if you need to pick up replacements, you can pick them up here at e-trailer. And they just ratchet down into place on both sides like that. Now from here, I do want to get some measurements. We want to see how far it's going to be adding to the back of your motorhome here. And at the back end, it is looking like about 39 inches it sticks out, which for four bikes isn't too bad. We can reduce some of that space though by coming to the top, pressing on this gray lever, and folding those arms down. Obviously this is for when the bikes are unloaded, so if you wanna leave it in the hitch, but save some space, you can. And here it'll only stick out about nine inches, which is a lot less. Some other things I wanna point out are the integrated cable lock here on the back. So you can wrap it through your bikes and lock it to the stud right here on the front of the arms. Down at the hitch here, we can check out our ground clearance first. It's gonna be 16 inches here, right on the dot, and it sits pretty close to the motorhome, so I don't think we'll have any issues bottoming out. At the hitch, it's working with a two inch by two inch receiver tube and comes with a locking anti-rattle bolt, keeping things nice and solid in the hitch. That compartment door, because we can't tilt the whole rack away, we'll make contact here, so we are sacrificing the usage of that. If you're looking for a bike rack that can maybe tilt away, check out the Kurt Premium. That could be another option for you and give you access to your compartment here. Otherwise, that'll do it. It's a pretty solid bike rack. It has a good weight capacity, and it'll be a good way to get your four bikes to your campsite. Thanks for watching. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it on our test course. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side to side action. It's kind of going to mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. And now with the fold speed bumps, these are going to be pretty much like normal speed bumps. You get to see the up and down action of the bike rack and see how it holds up. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is gonna be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on. 